In this short video, we will talk about the potential causes of increased engine operating temperatures without actual overheating, as well as how to address such a situation. It's Max the Car Guy YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Causes For a number of reasons, a car's engine can run hot but not overheat. When attempting to solve the current issue, it can be helpful to understand the potential causes of such problems. The most likely reasons for a slow rise in engine temperature include the ones listed below. Sticking thermostat An engine can run hotter than usual if a partially stuck thermostat prevents coolant from circulating as intended. A thermostat merely acts as a restriction when it is stuck between the fully open and fully closed positions. The engine and radiator of a car are not properly exchanging heat in this condition. Fortunately, replacing a thermostat usually doesn't come at a high cost. Blockages in cooling system Similar to the sticking thermostat example from earlier, any obstruction or restriction in an engine's cooling system can make a car run hotter than usual. The most frequent occurrence of this condition is when rust or other types of sediment clog a car's radiator. Similar results would be produced by a collapsed radiator hose. Faulty water pump A broken water pump could be the cause of your car's engine running hotter than usual but not actually overheating. The water pump in an engine typically moves coolant between the engine block and the radiator of a car. However, damage to a water pump's impeller can make it impossible for this circulation to function at all. Blown head gasket Additionally, an engine may run hotter than usual due to a blown head gasket. This frequently happens as a result of coolant loss, which is caused by leakage from the cooling jacket to the cylinder. However, a blown head gasket can also result in combustion gas leakage into the cooling system of an engine, raising the operating temperature noticeably. Inoperable engine fan the task of distributing airflow across the face of a vehicle's radiators falls to an engine's cooling fans. For this reason, a malfunctioning cooling fan may cause issues and result in an engine operating at higher temperatures than would otherwise be the case. In such cases, it is necessary to replace the fan or repair the fan's control circuit in order to get the temperature readings back to normal. Low coolant levels Low coolant levels in an engine's radiator are frequently the cause of a slight increase in operating temperature of the engine. This happens if there are any leaks in the cooling system of an engine, no matter how minor they may be. When this happens, there is simply not enough coolant left to cool the engine sufficiently. Faulty temperature sensor or gauge. Despite what the vehicle's temperature gauge indicates, a vehicle's engine may occasionally be running no hotter than usual. It's possible that a malfunctioning temperature probe or gauge is giving you false information, leading you to believe that there is a problem when there actually isn't one. What to do? You should pull over to the side of the road and turn off your car if you see the temperature gauge on your car starting to rise. Even though your engine might not be overheating right now, any changes in operating temperature could be a sign of future temperature-related problems. You can either head home or to a nearby service facility after your engine has cooled. Every time you notice that the operating temperature of your engine is not regulating as it should, it is crucial to take every preventative measure possible. Serious engine damage may result if such worries become more serious and eventually result in overheating. A cylinder head can easily warp, a block can easily crack, and a head gasket can easily blow. Any temperature-related anomaly should have the underlying cause identified and corrected as soon as possible. By doing this, the potential for eventual overheating and the damage that frequently results are avoided. You should make an appointment with an independent mechanic or dealership service center as soon as possible if you do not feel confident diagnosing such a problem yourself. So, that's all the information I wanted to share with you. Don't forget to press like button and subscribe to the channel. 